What's happening? Welcome back to Ragdown Planting. Today we're going to talk about the philodendron plant. I'm not sure exactly what family this philodendron is from, but we're going to talk about her. I'm doing my best here to try to stop this from breaking because if it breaks, we're going to be so sad. So I'm using just some ribbon that I found. I want to secure this so that this long piece on this side doesn't fall off and break. This is one of my philodendron plants and she has really taken off, completely blossomed. I guess I'll just let that hang. It's got her there pretty tight. She's so beautiful. She's really grown out for me. Look at her. My philodendron plant. Yeah. Look at this long piece that's shooting out here piece that I was trying to secure. You know, I just tied a little ribbon around that. I love these. These pink shoots. Oh, they really make the plant. It's so pretty. And this piece here, in the beginning of the summer, burned. And it was brown. Now it's orange. It's Plants are so amazing. It's like she's healing herself. She's orange now. And it's still on there. And it burned the beginning of the summer. Like it looks bad right here, but it's still... Like I didn't have to pull the leaf off, is what I'm trying to say. She didn't die off. Get it. Get it. Okay, philodendrons uh, are easy to grow. I put this plant right in front of a bright window and she does well. Not too much sun because the leaves will burn. I water this plant once a week. I haven't had any disease problems, and I, ha I haven't had to remove any leaves from her, really. You can prune this plant, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. I like to prune my plants because I like my leaves to grow bigger. And also to propagate. And that stickiness you see on my finger there, that's from the leaves. It produces its own little stickiness like honey. Philodendrion. And I'm not gonna change this pot. I'm gonna let her continue to grow in this pot. She seems really happy in this pot. If your plants seem happy, just leave it alone for a while. Some decoration that I stuck in there, but it was really cute with it. So. 
<laughs> Very pretty plant. Probably wash my babes down with these water droplets off. Mm -hmm. This plant also has water drops on the tips, so, and it comes from overwatering or from water intake. Excuse me, plant intake with the water. You know what I'm saying? When you water your plant, the leaves will produce little raindrops on them. I call them little raindrops, and that's just. If you want to lessen that happening, you can lessen your watering. Thanks for watching the Koshante. Magdown planting. <laughs>